All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Black Desert. So today before we head off to the Termian event, um, I just woke up. So I've been having a really bad habit lately of like weekends. I just wake up so late. Something I need to fix. But anyway, before we do anything, remember to roll your dice. Two, please, two. No, that's bad. All right, anyway, before we do that, uh, let's check the market and see if there's anything good for sale today. No, there's not. Man, look at all those sayers. If you're a DK and you're just starting out this game, Sayer is not a bad choice, but like later on you're gonna want to uh, swap to either Kuda Maneuver, so it's not a bad starting one. No dandies as usual. It's a lot of red nose. Why would you sell a plus 11 one for some reason? I don't really understand. Sissels are slowly going back up in price. Like, they used to be down to 300 mil for a try, and then I was like, I don't know why. Now they're going up in price again. Did anything crazy sell overnight? Still no try ogres. I guess that's a good and bad thing because I'm kind of getting close to enough to be able to bid on on that. Also, yesterday I did Zarka. I didn't get the box from the drop. I got the 100 seal turn in. So we just have a Zarka box sitting there for like whatever class we play in the future. I think it might be. I was considering it. To be a lawn weapon, but I don't know. Right now, I've just been leaving my lawn like overnight fishing, so I don't want to clear or like bog up my inventory. So, the usual today. Also, out of curiosity, where you guys live. How hot has it been lately? Because it's been pretty hot and humid lately here. Like within the 90s to 100 plus humidity makes it even worse. goodness I need to fix that skill let's see what kind of skills do I even how do I even check okay so I need to get hind kick up or just get rid of hind kick in general uh, charge Anyone use that? I remember spending like a hundred mil just buying all of these. Was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, horses can be expensive in this game. Like, I just. Back in the day, I think you can actually watch the video of me buying my first tier 8, which was this one. I think I spent about 140 mil on it, and then another like 80-ish 
to uh, buy all the equipment for it. So like these at plus 10. So that was like 200-ish mil. And then you had to like sort of change up some of the skills and then all the time and effort wasted for that. And I don't, I still don't even have the important skills. Okay, let's get these done. Turn on auto aim today. Not today. I think today we might actually get like another ten of these and get the, ne the next item. One day they'll make tents visible only to yourself. One day. Like, it would look so nice without all those tents there. Like, this beach is supposed to be clean. All right, guys, we're gonna first try it, yeah? I think that hit, but sure we'll take it. <laughs> So many people. What? I swear, like, should not be able to park boats over there like that. It's getting too close. They should make the shore a little bit further so people don't get, like, boat napped or something. Might be the last shot for this before I have to get a new one. This event is uh, another two more weeks, I believe. So even if you started, like, I think today might be the cutoff day if you started, um, you could still get 50 pearls for the Duo Crescent or whatever you're getting the coupons.
Yeah, we get a pearl or the Termian coin thing. Have the crown, got the seahorse diving thing, the feather. Let's get the harpoon. I think that one's the last one we need. Wait, what is this? What's the coconut for? say I've seen that before. Outside. All right, let's open the box and goldfish, cronstone, pickaxe, no blackstone, anything but blackstone. Goldfish, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know. I think that uh, harpoon thing was a bad choice. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever use it. I barely even go out into like Margoria. Um What to do now? We got the goldfish, that's good. How much are scroll or relics nowadays? They're going for eight ten each. And that's that's basically the price of one memory fragment. We're just holding on to a lot of them for some reason. Awakening boxes and libertos. Ooh, which ones are the ones to sell? Gauntlets are the highest price right now. Actually, I could probably sell a pendulum for 7.6. Everything else is kinda... Ooh, short sword. Short sword for 7.8. Probably do that. What class is that? Tamer, Kuno Ninja. Hmm. What about... Awakening. Oh my god, why are awakening weapons so cheap? Why aren't they like 9 mil each anymore? Even the glaives are so... Oh. Dang. Rip. Where are the Dark Knight ones? Are there any Vedient blues? Wait, this is Awakening. 
So they're sold out, but they're still min price. Wow. All right, anyway, um, that would be like a good 10 mil if I were to sell it. Uh, we got some stuff here. Potatoes and, why did I transfer this over? Yeah, I think the next thing I'm gonna work on now is getting a dandy box. I have so many potatoes, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, so I think we gotta head back to Velia and we gotta pick up the petals and then we can go turn those in today. Should just sell those relics. I don't know if I'd use them. Right now, in terms of memory fragments, I haven't been upgrading much lately because I'm just trying to save up to try to buy a duo ogre or a tri ogre. And if I can't get that, I'm just gonna save up to pre order one. After fail enhancing about 10 billion worth of ogres, I'm, I'm over it. It's, want one. I mean skipping the RNG, I'll do it. I think even for a casual player, making two billion per month is not super difficult. You just have to, like, once you get your worker empire started, then everything should be okay. So people ask me all the time how I make money and I'm really gonna be telling you what everyone else tells you. It's either like grinding, life skilling, overnight fishing. But if you want like a detailed breakdown of where my income comes from, you can look at my workers. Well, it's kind of hard to show you, but like the difference between like a blue one versus an artisan the yield is a little bit higher, obviously, so slowly, I haven't been messing with my workers much, but I want to get them all to, like, at least professional to artisan, and then convert them all to human workers, because that's like the medium ground workers, or the giants are slower, but they bring more in, so that's only good if you're just, you know, like, working all day. Uh, humans, if you have like active playtime and can check it like once every what six hours or something, then all you have to do is feed it, and overall it'd be a bit better. And workers, if you're literally playing like 20 hours a day, then <laughs> then that might be better. But my time is mostly AFK, but I could check in every now and then and feed them. So that's why I think uh, that would be the best for me. Um, why do I have these? I don't know. Two more days. After today, I'll be at 49, or like after reset, I'll be at 49. And then the day after is 50. Still, one day I'm probably just gonna upgrade these Dim Tree or Uragons. Out of curiosity, for all of you, if I were to upgrade these again, which one would you like to see me upgrade first? Uragons or Dim Tree? In my personal experience, from what I've upgraded before, 
Dim Tree hit Tet at about 80, and Ergon's hit at about mid 70s. And then, just in case you guys are curious, uh, Griffin hit mid 60s, mid 70s, mid 80s. Begs? I don't even know. I think Begs was 70s. Zarka was in the 60s. Dandy was like 98. Nuver, you guys can actually watch that one at 90. It was pretty bad. The weapons are rough enhancing. Oh yeah, let's sell the goldfish. Two silver. Yes. How to make five million silver in a second. Okay. Uh, come a silver temple. I should probably check my farms too at some point. Most of them are ready. But I won't do that while recording. It's not really fun to watch. But yeah, other ways of making money in this game, at least for me, is... Then again, I have been playing for over a year now. Um, so if you take a look at this, this is my life skill thing. Some people have been asking me which one is the best one to start with and like what should you do? Um, to be honest, whichever one is the most fun for you, do that one because you're going to do a lot of it. Trust me. <laughs> but if you do plan on doing all of them eventually, uh, gathering helps you start with everything else. So like you need materials to process, yeah? And you get those materials from your workers or you gather. If you want cooking, you have to gather stuff as well. Same with alchemy and same with fishing. Fishing and gathering will help you start processing cooking and alchemy. Um, hunting is pretty much useless. Trading is a good one, but it does require a lot of startup. And so the way you see, if you see like other YouTubers, streamers, they're like, oh, I just made like 3 billion silver from trading. That's because they saved like a month's worth of materials and then processed it into crates. And then, then it turned in one big crate trade in. But it's not 3 billion overnight. It's more like 3 billion over a month. Yes, it is profitable, and you also do have to have it set up, and while you can make a lot of money, you really do have to connect Grana to Valencia, which is quite a lot of CP, actually, and if you want the maximum profit, you have to have, like, the, I think, Artisan 2 nowadays. I don't really know. I haven't done it, but uh, I found that making money other ways works for me because I don't have the CP well I do have the CP I just rather invest it in other things compared to just setting up uh, like when I say connecting I mean like you know how these are red versus non connected nodes yeah you have to connect it from Grana to Valencia and that's quite a bit actually I'd say maybe a hundred ish CP I'm not 100% sure but I don't know like I have 50 CP just in farms, so that's also another way to make money. Other things to do, I kind of stopped fishing on this character, um, just because like sometimes I just park my main character somewhere in the desert, and if I'm going to fish overnight, I'd rather just park another character and give it my fishing rod, so Master 2 is probably going to be there forever. Um, yeah, and my other characters. Farming, I don't really do it for the XP. I kind of just do it to get materials that aren't sold on the market or it's hard to get.
moment of truth. Let's see if we can get any tier threes or higher. Actually, in my entire career of BDO when these fairies are out, I've gotten one tier three, like 20 tier twos, and like probably 100 tier ones. And at that point, I had to force my fairy to tier four. <laughs> like, the way it works is once it hits max level, you unsummon it, and then there should be a button like right here, and then you can force it. So that's mostly how we're, a lot of you guys are going to get tier fours unless you're RNG carried. Tier one, tier one, tier one. I think that's tier two. Tier one. Radiant is. Wait, Radiant's are tier four, right? Wait, are they? Did I just get hit a tier four fairy? Holy. Okay, so tier one. Got four of those, a tier two, and I think that's a tier four. Oh my goodness. This is a rare moment. I'm glad I'm recording it because I got a tier four fairy. Wait, this is tier two. A tier three would be four skills, right? And then... Oh yeah, I should probably turn these into wine. I'm gonna save that tier four, actually. Five skills, radiant. Yeah. So the one I have, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, the miraculous cheer could go up to five, but there's no potions currently under three second cooldown, so it's basically an auto pot. Um, I don't. It still follows the cooldown timer though. For like, if it has a six one, it'll use it every. It'd still use it every six seconds. Um, Morning Star is just like a permanent lantern. It's kind of cool to have, actually. I wish you could, when you toggle it off, like the next time you log in or switch characters, it'll be on again. So that's something I wish they would change. Uh, feathery Steps is probably the best thing you can ask for. Uh, so basically, if you go over your weight limit, you can go 25% above it. And then Fairies tier whatever um, so I wish that was longer than 12 hours but realistically I mean I don't really die too much in this game the only thing I die to are other people and you don't need uh, the fairy tears for that so dying to other people has very or no penalty but in terms of enemies in this game I don't really die to things Oh, we got our first tier 4 fairy. I wonder if they raised the drop rate. Because that's the first one in probably like 200-ish. I'm going to keep it. I don't need it, but I just want to keep it in case one day they actually do something. And it's like, here, you can have two fairies now. I'm like, great. I can not force another one. We're gonna send this fairy to Calpion. Which one has the most storage? Cool, Calpion it is. I need to buy more storage for my zones because I do fill up on random stuff. Um, what else do we have? Why do I even have these? What do they? 
they do. Honey wine. Um, I think Velia or Olvia has all of them. The honey wine I just turned into fairy powder. to do now. I guess that's it for me today. Uh, we did everything we wanted, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.